My name is Nikki Harvey and I work for Hertfordshire Fire and Rescue Service as a fire investigation dog handler. I handle and work two fire investigation dogs, one called Cece, who is seven years old, and the other is called Rex, who is 18 months old. Fire investigation dogs are sent into fire scenes when the fire is completely put out and all cooled down and there's no sign of smoke visible. So it's a safe scene for them to go and search for traces of ignitable liquids. And these are things that are commonly referred to as accelerants in the form of petrols, white spirit, diesel, paraffin, lighter fluids. It's any kind of ignitable liquid that somebody may introduce to a fire to start it deliberately. Obviously a dog's nose is far more superior to our human noses and the traces that we come across on a fire scene of the ignitable liquids that can be remaining even after the most severe of fire, us as humans may well miss these traces whereas obviously the dogs can locate these far more accurately and quickly than we can. The dogs assist in successful prosecutions of arson suspects so it's all about building a case to put the ignitable liquids within the fire scene. So it's all about evidence gathering and it's really important to be able to try and pinpoint exactly where the fire started and what has been used to start the fire. Once the dogs have identified an area of ignitable liquids within the fire scene, these are collected by police scenes of crime officers and baggaged up and sent off to a lab to anal analyse exactly what the liquid is. There are approximately 17 fire investigation dog teams in the whole of the country. Cece and Rex are currently the only fire investigation dogs in the whole of East Anglia. So as well as Hertfordshire, we cover the counties of Bedfordshire, Cambridgeshire, Norfolk, Essex and Suffolk. Although Buckinghamshire and London have their own fire investigation dogs, we can sometimes be asked to assist those brigades if their dogs are not available for whatever reason. Our dogs in Hertfordshire were secured by breeders which produce working gun stock dogs. Both of our dogs, as well as the predecessor Browser, which was our first fire investigation dog in Hertfordshire from 2001 to 2007, have been kindly sponsored and funded by Computer Centre, which are a Hatfield-based company. Both of our dogs are trained in Lancashire by a gentleman called Dave Peplow, and then the continuation training, once they finish their training, is obviously done by myself as their handler. In puppies, their initial training is all about obedience training, so teaching the dog to walk to heel, sit, stay, etc. And then they're brought onto tennis balls, so they'll initially be searching for tennis balls. And once they're successfully finding a tennis ball within a numerous search environments, they're then introduced one by one to all the ignitable liquids that they need to find for us within the fire scene. The tennis ball is never contaminated itself. The scent sort is always placed with the tennis ball in the search, but never on the tennis ball itself. Training can vary from dog to dog. It can take approximately six to eight months to fully train. All fire investigation dogs have to undertake an annual certification process, which is basically a test to confirm their skills and they're locating all the sources and the ignitable liquids that they're trained to find. It's also testing my skills as a handler as well as our capabilities as a team to work together successfully. CC and Rex uniform, when they are searching in a fire scene, consists of a harness which is an orange one for CC and a yellow one for Rex. They wear boots on their feet, which is not a case of protecting their feet from burning embers or anything they're gonna come across, because we never put them in the fire scene when it's still warm. It's always completely cooled down before we commit the dogs to the scene. The boots are about protecting their feet from broken glass and other debris that we come across within the fire scene. Both dogs are trained with a passive indication. When they find something within the fire scene, they will go rigid and point with their noses. Fire investigation dogs retire approximately between the ages of seven and eight. However, they can work longer if they're passing their process and they're happy to work longer. Most of the fire investigation dogs in the country do tend to stay with the handlers once they retire from being a fire investigation dog.